Hello, in this video we're going to do a proof showing that marginal cost equals average cost at the minimum of average cost. So here we have a cost function. Cost is a function of quantity and it equals fixed cost plus variable cost, where variable cost is a function of quantity. Average cost, the cost per unit, is just total cost divided by Q. So what we're going to do we're going to find the minimum of average cost. And so we're going to take the derivative using the quotient rule, the derivative of average cost with respect to quantity using the quotient rule. And we're going to set that derivative result equal to zero. I'll just review the rule here. So if y is a function of g of x divided by h of x, the quotient rule would tell us this. Take the derivative of y with respect to x and do the following. So we're going to square what's ever in the denominator. And then in the numerator, we're going to follow this. We're going to take the derivative of g of x and multiply that by h of x. So the derivative of g of x will be multiplied by h of x. And then we're going to subtract g of x and multiply that by the derivative of h of x. So that is a quotient rule. And I'll be applying the same thing to average cost. So the derivative of average cost with respect to quantity. So you'll note here I squared everything in the denominator. Then I took the derivative of what's in the uh, numerator. So the derivative of the cost function with respect to quantity. That's what I have here. And then that's multiplied by what's in the denominator. Okay. So originally in the denominator we had Q. So that's the first part right here. And then we're going to subtract the cost function, okay, which is our g of x here, uh, multiplied by the derivative of what's in the denominator. So the derivative of h of x, in our case, the derivative of q is just 1, so we get that result. Everything, again, is set equal to 0. So the first thing I'm going to recognize is the derivative of cost with respect to quantity is marginal cost so MC, and that's still being multiplied by Q here. Everything else is unchanged. Next thing I do is I just split up the numerator here into two parts. The next thing I do is marginal cost times quantity divided by Q squared is just marginal cost divided by Q, so one of the Qs cancel here. The next step is I factor out a Q term. So we've got marginal cost and minus CQ. So just factoring out a Q over here. And then recognizing C divided by Q is average cost. And so in order for this to equal zero, it must be true that what is in parentheses must be equal to one another. Marginal cost equals average cost. And that's the proof. So when marginal cost equals average cost, average cost is minimized. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.